Hi, it's John. It's the 16th of February 2017 and this is what you get as a gardener over the years. You get more and more odd packets of seeds out of date, half used. I've got quite a lot of these where I've taken the sweet peppers out and I'm left with five different or seven different other ones that I don't really want. <laughs> And probably the sweet peppers haven't grown. It's one of the things I always want to do. Grow decent sweet peppers but never quite do it. And the seeds are quite expensive. But sometimes you can get them in these packs. And I take them out and then I'm left with all the others. Um, anyway, I've found some that I want to plant. I'm going to plant some just on the bedroom windowsill without any heat. And some in a propagator. So here's some I'm going to plant. This is... Um, Furline tomatoes, which are blight resistant. Well, although I've got these off eBay, and I suspect that the person has just saved seed from furline tomatoes, so they won't actually be hybrid seed, but they are quite expensive. There's about a dozen in there, so um, and I probably got I got these for one pound fifty, including post and packing. Probably um, you'd probably get about eight seeds for. About nearly three pounds, I think, if you were buying them from Thompson and Morgan. And so I've got to plant those, which may not be any good, may not be blight resistant. And then some cucumbers, because they always take a while to grow to get started. And these are mildew resistant, which um, consar. I tend to get mildew in the uh, conservatory here, so that'd be good if they go. So this is a propagator, it's only about 100 watts or something like that and it will just keep them nice and warm and we've got plenty of light at the moment. If you try and grow things when it's too early and it's dark they just get a bit too leggy. Um, right so here's the seeds, let's try and put them in my right hand. There we go, these are the fur line tomatoes which are resistant to potato blight which is always seems to attack things around here and I'm just spread them on the top here and I'm just going to um, give them all a bit of distance and um, of course these pots are quite good they're about four inch pots and I get a lot of four inch pots in here to start seeds off that spread them all out quite well now I just Dib them in a bit. The um, compost has been outside. And it's very, the bag was outside and it's got sort of breather holes in it. And it's got very wet. So it's not exactly a joy to work with. Ooh. Now I should expect those to be up by this time next week, a sign of life in the warm there. I think quite often seeds need dark so I'm just going to cover them all up make sure they, they're in the dark. They need dark to germinate. It's one of the little triggers that they have to say time to grow. Winter's nearly over. Let's cover them all up and I've already done a tag. That's that one done. And let's have a look see what's in here this cucumber packet. I had an idea last year of growing them in rotation but last year wasn't a very successful year for cucumbers for me so I think I've just bung them all in because they are um, 2015 so they're two years out of date now so let's put them all in and see what whether we get anything uh, about 15 there can't remember how you're supposed to sow them I think you're supposed to sow them sideways so as they don't get too saturated it's gonna be a long job 15 pokes I 
I'm not expecting them all to come up. That's why I'm planting them in here. And obviously I'll plant them out later. Be good if they did all come up, right? Maybe they will. Maybe I'll put some in this other pot. There's quite a lot here. We have a plant sale in the village, so if I get overwhelmed with Constar cucumber plants, I can always put them into the plant sale. Because once they've germinated, it doesn't matter that the seed is it, um, out of date, because the plants will not be out of date. There we go. Grow, grow, grow. Grow, grow, grow. How much was that packet of seeds? Can't see, but they, these F1 hybrids are very expensive. So there we have it. I've put the old seed packets down here. Globe artichoke. These are uh, so by 2012. So we're five years out of date. The seeds were nice and hard though. So we've got that one there. I'll just put these seed packets in here. Look, for reference. Red basil, courgette, pumpkin, chocolate pepper. Uh, pepper there, Californian wonder, melon, uh, cucumber melon, um, cucumber femme spot, Californian wonder again, posh seeds, uh, cheap seeds. So, um, might get something. Be nice to uh, see in a week what's come up. Now it's got the warmth on it, and this will just add the. humidity it's a propagator and yeah, like an odd vent I think I'll leave it shut at the leave it, just put a little bit of vent on it let the moisture build up in there and that will sort of build up and then drip and it will sort of rain on it oh look got that from the auction it works as well right bye for now